The intention was to create a fun, cute yet primarily educational video. It was designed to cast a new light on a prevalent harsh stereotype. However, as the two and a half minute video circulated online, it elicited a variety of responses, many of which criticized the mother's parenting techniques. Bob Wall and his wife Nina were unwavering in their love for dogs. To them, a home wasn't complete without a dog to share it with. However, it wasn't the fact that they owned six dogs that raised eyebrows among visitors, but rather the breed of their choice, pit bulls. These six robust dogs were a close-knit group, having been trained from puppyhood. Besides playing and napping, one of their favorite pastimes was following their four-year-old daughter throughout the spacious house and backyard. One day, Bob and his wife came up with a great idea for a video, one they hoped would be simple yet impactful. The concept was to capture the evening mealtime routine. The couple detested the negative stereotype associated with these dogs and wanted the world to see them as the gentle giants they knew them to be. However, they could not foresee how quickly their plan would go awry. Nina set up Bob's phone on a stand and started recording. Their little daughter stood before the eager pack and clapped her hands. A well-known signal to the dogs. In less than a second after her hands met, the dogs simultaneously sat down in calm anticipation, their bottoms hitting the floor at once. It was time to eat, and they were ready. Two of the dogs got momentarily sidetracked, but a stern command from the young girl quickly got them back in line. Bob couldn't contain his grin or the surge of pride he felt at his daughter's natural leadership. Next, the young, blonde child picked up a large container of dog food and began spreading it across the floor while continuously uttering, stay. Stay. The dog's eyes remained locked on the food, drool hanging from their jaws in anticipation. What happened next left viewers utterly amazed. It's time to count down. Nina announced, yet. The girl had her own personal twist to add to the routine. She carefully smoothed out the pile into a flat circle to ensure a fair distribution of food. Meanwhile, the dogs remained still, barely twitching a muscle. The real question was, what would their reaction be when they were finally allowed to eat? 3. 2. Their daughter elongated the suspense as only a four-year-old can. By the time she reached, 1. Even Bob was getting antsy. Despite there being no aggressive advance or the girl being knocked over, the dog's behavior was not what most would anticipate. The dogs joyfully moved toward her, formed a circle, and began to eat, all while carefully maneuvering around the young leader without even slightly pushing her. This was precisely the outcome Bob and his wife had hoped for when they decided to share the video online. Unfortunately, the aftermath was heartbreaking. The issue wasn't that the video became an instant sensation, amassing more than 15 million views in just a few weeks. Rather, it was the comments section that shattered Bob's happiness. He was ready to face some opposition, but the intensity of it caught him off guard. The comments were filled with harsh words labeling them as irresponsible, dangerous, and neglectful. A majority of the feedback from viewers included such accusations. Some commentators even went as far as to label them potential murderers, suggesting that the police should intervene and remove their daughter from their care. Bob exhaled deeply and shut his laptop with frustration. Were people really not seeing the true issue? It wasn't the breed that was problematic. It was people. Irresponsible breeding and poor training were to blame. Any breed could be turned into a nightmare with the wrong handling. The evidence was there, right before their eyes. Yet it seemed no one was willing to acknowledge it. What were Bob and his wife to do now? Swallowing this bitter truth wasn't easy. All they could do was let the video stand and hope it would somehow make a difference. Yet, they weren't about to hide away or alter their beliefs. They remained passionate advocates for pit bulls, convinced more than ever that with proper training and handling, pit bulls could be among the finest pets. Their daughter would continue to lead mealtimes and play with the pit bulls in their backyard. It was going to be a long fight, but they had taken the first step. In the midst of dealing with the backlash, Bob's colleague Caroline reached out. She was struggling with a devastating personal situation. Her son Colin had been paralyzed after a tragic accident. When Colin was just a year old, he experienced a devastating accident that resulted in paralysis. 
leaving his future uncertain and his mother devastated. Colin, a lively and delightful toddler, was the center of his single mother Caroline's universe in their cozy home. Every shared moment was precious to them, but their joyful little bubble was about to be shattered by a tragic incident. One morning, as Caroline was preparing breakfast in the kitchen, she allowed Colin to play in the living room within her sight. Everything seemed normal until Caroline stepped outside momentarily to dispose of the trash. It was during this brief moment that disaster struck. Upon returning, Caroline was met with a horrifying scene. Colin had attempted to climb onto a high couch and had fallen severely. Caroline immediately scooped him into her arms, trying to soothe him with her apologies yet his continuous crying suggested a deeper issue. As a mother, Caroline felt an unsettling intuition that something was seriously wrong beyond mere fears. While she tried to calm him and administered some pain relief medication, Colin's distress did not subside. Soon, she realized the gravity of the situation when she noticed that Colin couldn't move his left arm and leg and had trouble opening his mouth to drink water. Fearing the worst, Caroline's panic escalated as she grasped the severity of the fall's impact. She quickly gathered herself, carrying Colin and hurrying to the hospital. There, the doctors conducted a thorough examination of Colin. With each passing moment, Caroline's anxiety deepened until the diagnosis confirmed her worst fears. Colin's fall had caused some of his vertebrae to crush nerves, paralyzing the left side of his body. The doctors were unsure if he would ever regain strength or mobility on that side. Struck by the grim prognosis, Caroline was overwhelmed with emotion, tears streaming down her face. Yet, in the midst of this storm, Colin, still too young to understand the seriousness of his condition, looked at his mother, unaware of the profound implications of his situation. Caroline was shattered but refused to yield to despair. With renewed vigor, she took on the role of a steadfast mother, knowing the path to recovery would be challenging. It would be filled with numerous therapy sessions, medical appointments, and emotional distress, yet, she held on to the belief that together, they could overcome these obstacles. Despite the extensive therapy and medical treatments, Colin showed no signs of improvement from the interventions. Nevertheless, he remained a joyful and lovely child, though paralyzed. The constant cycle of therapy sessions, doctor visits, and clinging to a sliver of hope for progress seemed futile, and the burden of despair weighed heavily on Caroline's shoulders. The painful reality gnawed at her soul. She yearned for the days when Colin, brimming with vitality and happiness, would rush to her, eager to share his toys, those precious moments that made motherhood so joyful. Now, it seemed her beloved boy might never walk or run again. Caroline was plagued by relentless guilt, feeling she should have been there to prevent the accident. She bore the heavy weight of responsibility and blamed herself for not protecting Colin on that tragic day at work. Nina, a colleague of Caroline, noticed the enduring sadness in her friend's demeanor. Concerned, she approached Caroline, coaxing her until she reluctantly shared Colin's plight and the emotional burden it had placed on her. As Caroline opened up, Nina listened empathetically and thought of a possible solution. Being an avid animal lover, Nina knew the significant help pets could offer their owners. She suggested Caroline consider getting an emotional support animal for Colin, particularly recommending a pit bulls or a Labrador because of her positive experiences with the breed and knowing others who felt the same. Initially, Caroline was apprehensive about having pets at home and was quite hesitant. However, Nina emphasized the potential benefits and managed to convince her of the positive influence an emotional support animal could have on Colin's recovery. Nina highlighted how a vibrant pet could bring joy and companionship, particularly for a child who was fond of playing and exploring but was restricted in movement. As Caroline mulled over the idea, weighing the potential benefits against her apprehensions, she recalled her unwavering commitment to do anything to aid her son. With determination building inside her, she resolved to take a chance. After all, Colin had not been showing positive responses to traditional treatments and therapies. Committed to exploring every avenue, Caroline decided to visit an animal shelter the next day, hoping to find a dog that could bring a positive change to Colin's life. 
with little experience in handling dogs. Caroline spent the night conducting thorough research. She delved into the complexities of dog care, their dietary needs, and general behavioral information, while reading uplifting stories from other dog owners. Caroline's initial worry gradually shifted to optimism as the testimonials she read described affectionate and supportive dogs, sparking her interest in getting a canine companion for her son. The following day, she took a proactive step in her quest to find a therapy dog for Colin by contacting the local animal shelter. She clearly communicated her need for a pet that could provide the necessary emotional support for her ill son. The staff at the animal care center were encouraging and informed her about the different dogs they had available. After reviewing photos and videos, they confidently recommended a Labrador named Max as the ideal emotional support animal for Colin. Convinced, Caroline completed the adoption process and eagerly awaited Max's arrival at her home. Upon Max's arrival, Caroline was surprised by the immediate connection she felt with him. Even more astonishing was the quick bond that formed between Max and Colin. It seemed as if Max intuitively understood the boy's needs and responded to them. His attentive gaze towards Colin helped forge a bond that went beyond verbal communication. Watching this touching interaction, Caroline was overwhelmed with emotion. Max had not only entered their lives but had also become an integral part of their family. The Labrador's focused attention on her son brought warmth to Caroline's heart and filled her with hope and gratitude. The relationship between Max and Colin hinted at a more hopeful future. Max's role as an emotional support animal exceeded mere words. As he settled into their home, Caroline noticed the significant positive effect he had on Colin. Max's constant presence by Colin's side offered comfort and companionship. His gentle nature and keen perception of the boy's needs fostered a supportive and positive environment. Max's affectionate actions, such as licking Colin and staying close to him, provided comfort and relief to both mother and son. Max proved to be more than just a pet. He exceeded Caroline's expectations with his understanding and responsiveness. The Labrador demonstrated an exceptional ability to sense when Colin was uncomfortable. Barking to alert Caroline, his playful demeanor brought joy to the household, responding to Colin's laughter and antics with exuberant barks. Life at home became more relaxed, and Caroline began to appreciate the unexpected ease Max introduced into their daily routines. Any reservations she initially had about having a dog in the house turned into gratitude for the joy and comfort Max brought into their lives. As time passed, Caroline noticed significant progress in Colin's recovery. Thanks to Max's presence, it was evident that Max played a crucial role in the activities. He would subtly encourage him by nudging him to stand and move around the home. Despite Colin's physical challenges, Colin's eagerness to interact and play with the dog was clear. Max's persistent support inspired him to exceed his perceived limitations, culminating in a significant moment during their playtime when Colin managed to lift his left arm to stroke his canine pal. This movement brought Caroline immense happiness, and she couldn't help but cry tears of joy as she embraced and kissed him. Celebrating this significant emotional progress, this event marked a milestone of resilience and progress, underscoring the profound affection and special connection between a boy and his dog. However, this was just the beginning of miracles for this family. In the following days, something extraordinary occurred. Caroline was astounded by the progress Colin was making. One day, she walked into their room to find her son leaning on Max for support as they moved together around the room. His recovery pace surpassed all her expectations. Colin had not only regained movement in his left hand but also began to stand and move his left leg. Caroline was overwhelmed with emotion and joy as the days passed, and Colin's improvement continued at a remarkable rate. The bond between him and Max became a catalyst for recovery, and in time, he regained full strength, transitioning from limited mobility to total recovery. The once desperate situation now seemed like a distant memory, replaced by the delightful sight of a boy and his loyal dog playing and exploring the world together. Overjoyed and amazed by the powerful bond between human and pet, Caroline marveled at the resilience they had tapped into despite unsuccessful therapy programs and medical treatments.
The indomitable connection between Colin and Max proved to be the ultimate remedy for his recovery. Desperate to confirm her hopes, Caroline took her son to the hospital for further tests. The doctors, astounded by his progress, confirmed that Colin was now fully recovered, no longer suffering from partial paralysis. The news spread quickly throughout the hospital, leaving medical professionals and staff amazed by the mysterious bond between the child and his pet. The remarkable bond between Max and Colin became a topic of discussion. With her hopes renewed and her dreams for her son turning positive, Caroline reveled in watching Max and Colin play around the house, a scene that seemed impossible just weeks prior. Their bond grew stronger each day, fostering an atmosphere of joy and healing within their home. Driven by curiosity about Max's background, Caroline decided to explore his past. His well-trained nature and unique ability to sense distress and form bonds stood out. Caroline had no idea that her search for information would reveal a shocking and remarkable truth about the Labrador named Max. As Caroline investigated Max's background, she discovered a fascinating history that explained his deep connection with Colin. Max was not just a regular pet, he was a specially trained therapy dog skilled in assisting children with physical disabilities. His professional training had fine-tuned his abilities, enabling him to detect Colin's distress and provide the necessary support for his recovery. Astonished by this discovery, Caroline realized that Max's training as a therapy dog was the crucial element they had been missing. His innate ability to understand Colin's requirements, coupled with his training, played a crucial role in Colin's miraculous recovery. Their bond transcended the usual pet-owner relationship serving as a powerful testament to the significant impact a well-trained therapy dog can have on a child facing physical challenges. Max became available for adoption after his previous owner, who had adopted him when her baby was born, tragically died in a car accident. Deeply bonded with his former owner and her child, Max grieved their loss, unable to control his emotions even during their funeral. The staff at the animal shelter shared with Caroline that Max had been visibly sad since then. Lacking the playful demeanor typical of other dogs in the kennel, concerned about Max's prolonged stay at the shelter due to his grieving soul and melancholic demeanor. The staff found it challenging to find him a new home. When Caroline called the animal shelter in search of a companion and emotional support pet for her ill son, the staff immediately saw Max as the perfect match. Having lost his previous owner and friend, who was about Colin's age, they believed that introducing Max to Colin could bring joy to Max and allow him to transfer his affection to another boy who needed it. Learning about Max's difficult past moved Caroline to tears. The realization that he had been special from the start deepened her appreciation for him, making their bond even more valuable as she reflected on how close she had come to losing hope. The connection that had formed between humans and pet animals, Caroline realized, was truly priceless and powerful. As time passed, Colin continued to improve, growing into a healthy and happy child with Max by his side. Max had become a beloved member of the family, and news of his heartwarming story spread throughout the city. This story prompted people who had misconceptions or negative views on pet dogs to reconsider their positions. Recognizing that dogs indeed are man's best friend, the tale of Max and Colin became a testament to the profound relationships that can develop between humans and their canine companions. The profound impact of love and companionship, which defies conventional norms and inspires others to recognize the unique bonds that can form between people and their pets, is a truly uplifting narrative, just as Bob and Nina had hoped to show the world the true nature of their pit bulls. Caroline's journey with Max proved that with the right care and love, dogs, whether pit bulls or Labradors, can change lives in extraordinary ways. Both families, facing criticism and personal challenges, found solace and strength in their loyal dogs, ultimately proving that animals can offer a deep, healing connection that transcends prejudice and hardship. Have you ever felt a deep connection with your pet? Are you aware of others whose lives have been significantly transformed by adopting an emotional support animal? Please share your stories in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.